This is Julian, and welcome to the first preview video of my new digital program, Transformation Mastery. This is something that I've been working on and creating for the past two years now, ever since the media scandal that I went through at the end of 2014. And this is the first 100% personal development slash self-help program I've ever released, and by far the most deep, intense, shocking, and life-changing program you'll ever go through. <laughs> Transformation Mastery is really something that was born out of extreme frustration. Where if you didn't know this about me, I've been traveling the world ever since 2010, teaching success with women and personal developments to literally tens of thousands of people face to face. And this is what I'd see year after year, client after fucking client. I'd go to a city, work on someone, teach them how to improve their life situation, improve themselves, to change, to transform, and I'd bump into them six months, a year later, and it just wouldn't fucking stick. You know, they'd have like that temporary spike of success. You know, a bit of success in their relationships, in their life, in their finances, in their health, in their confidence, and I'd see them, and they'd be back to ground zero. It's like something just kept pulling them back. And I'd ask them like, what the fuck happened? You know, where they might just keep a little bit of it. Like, oh, I have a little bit that I maintained since then, but it's never the results I really wanted for them. And I'm like, what happened? And they're like, oh, I don't know, it just, it just somehow happens. You know, and uh, I started obsessing about this. I'm like, well, what the fuck's going on here? And I started refining my teachings more and more and more, and nothing would make it stick. Nothing would produce that true transformation. And this is the crazy part. Okay, not only would it started really getting frustrating seeing this, because I put my heart and fucking soul in it for you. You know, this is what drives me. Like, you will not go to the lengths that I go if you don't fucking care. Like, I go all out, and it just kept breaking my heart. The frustration started bubbling up, and the crazy part is, I realized that me, I hadn't truly changed either. I hadn't truly achieved that permanent, true transformation. I was also being pulled back and I could feel it inside of me, just something always pulling me back. And what I had mastered isn't true transformation, it's fighting against being pulled back. That's what I was good at. I had a lot of skills to resist being pulled back. You know, I'd like use a lot of willpower, a lot of effort, trying to control certain things like, okay, let's keep the success here. Let's keep the confidence, keep the women, keep the money. And I did it for a while, for quite some time until that media scandal. And then guess what? Gone and pulled back to my default state and my default identity slash status slash what I think I deserve in life. And this is something I want you to fucking realize now. You know, you may have all your excuses like, I'm not there because of this. I lost my money because of this. I'm not confident because of this. You know, it's very easy to think you're a victim of circumstances. You have no opportunities or people are fucking you over. But if you want to know the truth, you have a lot of opportunities. And the one person that's really fucking you over, your number one victimizer, is you. Okay, why? Because we are all addicted. And this is the most addicting thing in the world. We're all addicted to our default state and our default identity. Okay, that shit is more addictive than fucking crack cocaine. And no matter what you do externally, no matter what you change, no matter how much success you try to get, you will find a way. And it can be obvious or very subtle to get back to that state. For a little while, we're simply going to be with ourselves. Okay, so take some deep breaths and Simply hang out in there. What's it like being you? What's going on in there? Okay, what is this experience you're having right now of being you? Okay, and bring some awareness to the different sensations. You know, if there's any tenseness, any, you know, upsets, any discomfort, if there's like a knot in your stomach, if you're tense, you know, if your body language is tense, if your face is tense, or if you're at ease. Okay, just start making a list. What's going on? Okay, and I want you to view this objectively. And to do this, imagine someone else other than you um, is just magically transported into your body. Okay, and is experiencing what you're experiencing now. What would that person's experience of you be like? What would that person rate, say on a scale of one to 10, that experience of you? Would it be a pleasant experience? That person be like, whoa, this was, this was fun, this was pleasant, or holy shit, I'm very happy, I'm not that person. Get me out of here, get me out of this fucking body. Okay, what would it be? And just for fun here, rate it. 
imagine you're that person experiencing you rate it objectively on a scale of one to 10. Okay. And take it in one more time. You can open your eyes now and uh, give me the answer. Okay. Virtually give me the answer. That's the real answer. That's the honest answer. It's not the answer you give out of habit mentally. Um, this is what it's really like to be you. This is why people win the lottery and they lose it. And it'll be subtle. You're like, well, I'm spending it for a good reason. You'll have all your excuses and rationalizations, but you just keep being fucking pulled back. And you can ask yourself here too, and be honest, underneath it all, under all this surface temporary you know, success, has anything truly changed deep down inside? And be honest. Don't be like, oh, of course, I'm, I'm really confident. Or is there still that little voice? Bullshit. You don't deserve this. Deep down inside, has your state changed at all? Do you feel any different? Maybe the externals changed a bit in spite of that, but inside, is anything really different? Has anything really transformed? And if you're like me, how I was, the answer was no. I had it all. I had the money, the girls, the travel, the status, the success, everything. And underneath it all, I just couldn't fucking enjoy it. And I kept having to fight losing it. This is the baseline. This is you. Then there's your personality. Um, what most people do is they try to get external things like, you know, fame, money, girls, success, health, et cetera, travel, et cetera, et cetera. That doesn't work. It just on the surface. So then you're like, well, let's, let's tweak this, uh, my personality here. Um, confidence, outgoingness, positivity, you know, let's do a positivity challenge, positive focus. Um, let's go out, you know, and I don't know, add willpower, add hustle, et cetera, et cetera. But it's still the surface. If you take away all that shit, you're still, you know, for me, three out of 10. This is something more and more people are realizing, by the way, you know, with the whole internet, the technology, there's more opportunities where you start succeeding, you know, and there's a huge focus now too. It's like, you know, succeed, succeed, accomplish, accomplish, yet you can't enjoy it. You're hooked on this. Okay. And uh, when I went through that scandal, everything was taken away. And this is the most traumatic, horrible experience I ever went through. But it was that one experience that took this all away and forced me to confront that default state, that baseline, to confront what's inside and to realize, whoa, I got to get to the core here. I got to get to the cause. It's about the deep work. Why? Because the internal affects the external. That internal experience of you is what colors your external. And this is what transformation really is about. Okay. It's about getting to the cause, changing that baseline, changing your default state, your default identity, what you think you deserve out of life. So you stop fighting against yourself. So you stop just keeping fucking pulled back. And instead you start being pulled towards your goals, towards what you want. And things become extremely effortless. You know, you're going down this lane, driving with the fucking brakes on change that. Change that so you can start enjoying your success and you start being pulled towards more, okay? And this is a program that's really about fucking results. It's not just change the internal and do nothing. It's change the internal so you can start fucking thriving. Let's get you out of coping and let's get you to fucking thriving, okay? This is what this program is about. This is the shit that changed my life. You know, being completely modest here, just look at me, okay? I've been in this for 10 years, working on myself for 10 fucking years, over 10 years, ever since 2006. And if you look at the first eight years, versus the last two ever since that life-changing moment going through that media scandal, those last two years changing, I just say transforming, have been much more effortless than the first eight and much more drastic. They topped those first eight years by a fucking long shot. And that's what I want for you and that's why I created this, to get you that effortless change where you just fucking kill it in life, okay? No more of this uh, fighting against yourself, climbing this uphill fucking battle. Like, fuck that, like enough's enough. Okay. And you probably have enough success right now in your life where you realize it didn't work. Like nothing's changing that core. Nothing's changing that inside. And you keep having to fight against yourself. Enough is enough. Fuck the self-sabotage. No more self-sabotage. And uh, what I created here is a program that gets to that core. It pierces through the bullshit. None of this surface work, none of this mental masturbation of just rearranging the external. Fuck that. Let's get to the cause. That's what transformation mastery is about. Okay. So if Right now, you decided that enough's enough, you're sick of it, click the link below. And uh, you'll sense even now, maybe your mind will come up with excuses to not do this. You'll find a way to kind of avoid this because you want to stay where you're at. Fuck that. 
don't click on the little video on the side. You might see a little video with like a puppy. You're like, what's this puppy? Fuck the puppy. Click the link below. Fuck, fuck the puppy. Click the damn link below. Enough's enough.